Hi everyone, this is Dr. Bisal Gewali from Queen's University, Kingston, Canada. Today I wanted to share some of my thoughts about uh, the final overall survival results from the Paloma 2 trial. As you know, Paloma 2 trial is the trial testing the addition of palpocyclic to letrozole in the first line treatment of hormone positive or to negative advanced breast cancer. And we know that uh, palpocyclic got accelerated approval on the basis of improving PFS from the Paloma 1 trial and Paloma 2 was a confirmatory trial to convert that accelerated approval into regular approval. And as we have discussed sometimes about how confirmatory trials sometimes use the same surrogate endpoint as they have used in accelerated approval, that's exactly what happened here. Paloma 2 PFS was improved and therefore palpocyclic's accelerated approval was converted to regular approval. However, the ultimate marker of clinical benefit is overall survival. Um, and, that, and, and that's a problem because we approved this uh, drug as regular approval without waiting for overall survival or based on progression free survival alone. Anyways, uh, the results of the Paloma 2 overall survival were presented at ASCO. And it shows that uh, the addition of palpocyclic to first line endocrine therapy did not improve overall survival. So the overall survival was not improved. There was no benefit in overall survival. Now, there are a number of uh, reasons why that may have happened, and there are a number of things to, to consider in the interpretation of these results. But one is about the approval uh, systems that I already talked. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate to use the exact same surrogate endpoint for regular approval that we have used for accelerated approval, but also more the presentation of data. Um, if we looked at uh, how overall survival results from Paloma 2 were presented, as I said, it was not significantly improved, but you will see languages that might mislead, such as there is a numerical difference, although it was not statistically significant and continuing to say that there might be some subgroup of patients who, who will have overall survival benefit. Um, and uh, for example, uh, they were claiming that uh, for patients with a disease-free interval of more than 12 months will have an overall survival benefit, but these are all random post hoc analysis. And in fact, uh, these, are, these are quite arbitrary. These are all a way to spin the results because why not disease-free interval of 18 months? Why not disease-free interval of six months? Um, you might very well say, if we do an analysis among the survivors only, then there is a survival benefit. These are all random postdoc uh, maneuvers to show a statistically significant result. Um, in fact, uh, they even tried removing all the patients uh, who were lost to follow up. Like usually we include all these patients and censor them, but instead of censoring them, they also tried to exclude them. Uh, and do the analysis. And even then, it was not statistically significant. Um, and this is not a right statistical practice, but even then, it was not statistically significant. They also uh, tried to combine the results of Paloma 2 with Paloma 1. Again, a post hoc approach. This was not a pre planned thing. And tried to uh, look at the overall survival. But uh, the bottom line is it did not improve. So the other thing to consider here is what does it mean that uh, the addition of CDK46 inhibitor palpocyclic to frontline endocrine therapy did not improve overall survival. Um, the argument here is probably that the control arm did far better than what we expected. The overall survival was 51 months, uh, in the range of 51 to 54 months in the control arm and the uh, palpocyclic arm. So yes, that's a long overall survival. Uh, longer than what uh, they might have expected uh, in the control arm. But having said that, it probably means that the, uh, with all the improvement uh, in treatments and diagnosis and everything, the natural history of the disease has improved. And most importantly, I think it also means that um, getting palpocyclic in later lines of treatment will probably lead to same overall survival advantage as giving it first line. Because uh, um, there is no doubt that CDK46 inhibitors are an important class of drugs for patients with hormone receptor positive breast cancer. But if we are failing to improve overall survival in frontline, in first line setting, what that probably means is you can reserve this drug for second line or later lines of treatment and still achieve the same survival benefit. That way we would be treating fewer number of patients. 
uh, for uh, a smaller duration to achieve the same benefit. Uh, so the take home message for me is that you could probably resolve as in palocyclib for later lines of treatment, you probably do not need to give it upfront. And that also means that there are probably a substantial percentage of um, women with uh, advanced uh, breast cancer who will do well with uh, endocrine therapy alone for the first line. And we can use palocyclib when they progress uh, on first line endocrine therapy, which uh, may be after several months. Uh, having said that, one more thing, um, that came to my mind when I saw those results were, um, you know, ribocyclib has a positive OS data. Um, and if you look at early breast cancer, abemocyclib so far has positive DFS. It may change, it may become negative with more mature follow-up, but palbocyclib trials were clearly negative in early breast cancer. So palbocyclib failed in early breast cancer. Even in advanced breast cancer, palbocyclib uh, could not improve OS when the other drug did. Uh, so does that mean palbocyclib is the weakest of uh, all CDK46 inhibitors that are available? That might be a question to ponder. Until now, we have been treating all CDK46 inhibitors as if they are similar, but are there, is there a possibility that they are different? That might also be a question to think about. So just sharing some of my thoughts about the Paloma 2 trial and CDK46 inhibitors in advanced breast cancer. Thank you.